Welcome back to my channel everyone. For this time, we will be talking about solving problems involving circles. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tutorial. Number 11. A dartboard has a diameter of 30 centimeters and is divided into 10 congruent sectors. What is the area of one of the sectors? Now to solve this one, First, let's draw this problem. A dartboard has a diameter of 30 centimeters. So if the diameter of this one is 30 centimeters, okay, then the radius measures 15 centimeters. So the radius is 15 centimeters. And it's divided into 10 congruent sectors. So this board is divided into 10 parts or sectors what is the area of one of the sectors so what is the area of one of the sectors so what is the area of this one to solve that one we have this formula area of sector is equal to the measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared so first Let's identify or solve for the measure of the arc. So, what is the measure of this arc? To solve that one, we know that one uh, revolution of the circle is 360 degrees. And there are 10 equal parts. So, 360 divided by 10, that is 36. So, the measure of this arc is 36 36 degrees so 36 over 360 copy pi and then substitute the radius the radius is 15 centimeters where did we get 15 because the diameter is 30, so 30 divided by 2, that is 15. So, 15, 15 centimeters squared. 36 divided by 360. That is 0 0.1 or 1 over 10. Copy pi. And then 15 squared is 200 times 225 centimeters squared. 0 0.1 times 225 is equal to 22.5 square centimeters and don't forget the pi so write pi here if this answer can be found in the choices then multiply to 22.5 with pi or 3.14 number 12 in this figure if the measure of segment AC is 20 centimeters, measure of segment BC is 5 centimeters, measure of segment DC is 4 centimeters, what is the measure of segment E to C? This can be solved using this proportion. So, multiply this segment with this segment so this segment is 20 centimeters uh, 20 centimeters multiply with the segment BC which is 5 centimeters equals the same this segment so segment EC segment EC segment E 
C multiplied by this segment DC and DC is 4 centimeters 20 times 5 is 100 to cancel out 4 here we use um, multiplica multiplication property of equality so we multiply this one with 1 fourth to cancel out 4 here and we do the same thing on the other side so that becomes EC only uh, segment E to C while on the other side we have one fourth one fourth of 100 is 25 number 13 number 13 and number 11 is somehow the same so we will just use this formula in solving the area of the sector so let us solve the area of the sector if the measure of this arc is 70 degrees and the measure of the radius is 5 centimeters so let's substitute the following given area of the sector is 70 degrees so 70 over 360 just copy pi and then the radius is 5 centimeters so that's 5 centimeters squared 70 divided by 360 is equal to 7 over 36 copy pi and then 5 squared is 25 square centimeters 7 over 36 times 25 that is equal to 4.86 and don't forget the pi so you can just put pi there square centimeters and if you can find this answer in the in the choices wherein this is solved in terms of pi you can convert pi to 3.14 or you can input pi in the calculator directly for number 14 let us solve the length of a certain uh, part of the cord for example this cord measures x plus 14 while this cord measures 7 plus 8 so to solve the value of x here that is just um, first multiply x with uh, 14 so that is 14 x is equal to 7 times 8 next um, copy 14x is equal to 7 times 8 is 56 to cancel out 14 here we use multiplication property of equality to cancel out 14 56 divided by 14 is equal to 4 so the value of x is 4 for number 15 we have this problem so the figure tells us that there are two second line that intersect at point P if the measure of arc XY this one is 140 degrees and the measure of this arc MN is 40 degrees then what is the measure of that's not arc but that's angle angle XPY angle XPY so to solve that one 
we use the formula 1 half of the positive difference of the two arcs. So, 140, which is the bigger arc, minus the smaller arc. 140 minus 40, the difference is 10, uh, 100, 100 times 1 half, the final answer will be 50 degrees. So the measure of angle XPY is 50 degrees. So that's it class. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. To be more updated for my future videos, please subscribe in my channel, push the notification bell, and hit the like button. This is Sir Chan, signing off.